Welcome back guys, look, it's the up next segment And look here on the man, new artist, rising dancehall and reggae artist The Ruption, promoting his current single era Yo, it bad, listen out now, check out from the youths now Watch it now, pre it <laughs> Up next is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine, take charge Ain't thunder, we are start from one school One pot, one food one fox still so we rush show first now for the consume. Musically when we bring to the table and the difference where music is concerned, the messages we may bring forward now to the youths and to a wider nation mm -hmm. overall right now because if you notice even now the world need it, positiveness overall. And I believe positivity are my world in a real life, so that me preach going forward. Mm -hmm. How did it all begin for you? It actually started off from a tender age to you know, from, from baby stage, start singing in church, um, high school, and from high school, we took it serious in 2014 and start, and start pursuing music as, as a full-time career. Things change, what did I hear you? Like everybody me know I pray for you, nah, pray. The first official producer I ever worked with is um, Elite Boss. But the label elite generation but before that i was actually doing some little little vicing but i was actually using youtube rhythms before but the official the first official song was produced by elite generation because big up elite generation it, it actually gave me more than even a fan base more than create an impact um create a big impact where the world is even concerned and, and start looking into my music and whatever may bring forward overall because i guess the timing was right and perfect due to the song I'm singing, titled Chadding Alone. I'm on my way, and right now I'm Chadding Alone now. When I sing that song in 2014, huge impact in the world and here in Jamaica as well. The coin come to, when we in a trouble, we are gonna run to. When the one we look up to, give a gun to. And we can't tell who them for truck show now. St. Thomas before from a place called Cottage Pen. Mm -hmm. Place called Cottage Pen in a real time, so we got the whole centre mass overall, and the whole centre mass are my place, but birthplace a Cottage Pen. But being in centre mass, how easy or difficult has it been for you to kind of make the breakthrough, to kind of make the connections that you want musically? Difficult, difficult. We naga, naga light you. It, it's, it's, it, it create a impact on, on, on the music career overall because due to the distance from St. Thomas to even Kingston and to other different parishes. For now, we just, we just give, God, give God thanks to where I'm giving now and the doors that we are open in a real time because I see them now I'm going to this today. Living then lucky you It's not even dark, I'm not see past the avenue So tell me now what we can fight for The government name first and foremost is Romario where but um, the eruption came about when I'm a tender age as well. My friend them always ask me how it's a great eruption in a jokes and whatever. You know, friend thing when I realize. Like, but my grandmother always tell me, say, um, she don't like eruption because eruption don't mean nothing good. So we reverse it now with the DI. So. What inspired the era? Where did the idea, the inspiration come from? And you know, to be honest though, the song titled Era is straightforward and everybody now can relate to it due to the crime rate we are going on in our country and across the world because if you even notice in our country a country where it consists of over three million people and the death rate is like way up the so but if you even notice how the death rate situate like everybody are dead like in a one circle so it's like if if this person are living in the same year they must go to the same school together or they live on the same lane yeah, we have a new song for job titled Transition, but we have an EP working on titled Different Sides. And if that's that, that EP, the people, believe you me, it has an epic due to the songs they put it, the messages they bring forward, and if you even listen to the title, different. It's straightforward, so different sides of the eruption, so you have to get some things you don't normally hear, and you have to go straightforward with it, overall. 
It's time for Mix Masters. Yo, we got DJ Russian this week. And of course, Milk caught up with him. We'll have all the information upon this DJ. Yo, big him up every time in bad. I want to support the youths there. Mix Masters. Mix Masters is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine. Take charge of things anytime, anywhere. DJ Russian, that's my DJ. It's time for our Mix Master segment. Check, baby, check, baby, one, two. Check, baby, check, baby. Introducing DJ Russian. Da, 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 da. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for having me. You have a motto. You say music is life and life is music. Yeah, which means everything that I do it revolves around music. So, like, if I'm even washing the plate, I'm singing. If I'm driving, I'm listening to a live audio that either me do or a co worker of mine do. So, that's what I mean. My life revolves around music. So, music is just straight life, life for you? Life for me. <laughs> Tell me how it was growing up in the volatile community of Tex Lane, aka Spoilers. Big up to everybody <laughs> down in the Spoilers community. Ah, growing up in spoilers, it was very rough. It was a rough community, you know, gang violence and so forth, you know. Going even to parties was even a tough task. I had to move out. But rewind to when I was a child, normally a bar was beside me, so I normally listen to sounds that come there for Ron Robbins or parties. So normally stay up during the night, listen to souls, listen to R&B, listen to reggae, listen to hip hop. So. I think growing up and then my father had a son. When you when you when you took your musical career to the streets in 2013, did you start playing at your high school or it was after you left those schools that you started looking into music? When I left Pembroke, like the following year after I left Pembroke, mm -hmm. I started out as a singer. Well, I said singer, singing now, don't work for you, brother. So. You started out wanting to be a singer. singer? Yeah, like a singer. Sing a like a piece of song for me before you finish telling the story. <laughs> yeah, put on the spot. Yeah, no, that's what this show is about. You have to pre everything about your business. Alright, one song with me did write a girl broke my heart. Yeah. I write a song for her. It was like, baby girl, you know that I love you. You know that you know that you know that I love you. When I tell you that is love, I saw tears in your eyes. I never miss the water till the well run dry. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, cause I told a lot of lies. I never knew what's love, so I had to deny. Yes, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> DJ Russian, that's my DJ. I am find out singing wasn't my thing. Mm -hmm. I then I then um, venture off into DJ, started off with virtual DJ because I grew up, my dad had a son as I said previously, mm -hmm. so I grew up with 45 LPs, you know, he had one of the biggest sons in St. Thomas, right, so I started off there, I had a Walkman, so I normally listen to you, and yeah, your show, uh -huh. with um, so, um, Cashflow Neil, yes. and then I had Nairon and RJ where I normally record it on the video. Spoil up my daddy, good, good cassette with him, have dub pan and all of that. <laughs> so, right there, I realized that DJing is the thing. And then I got caught from Pembroke when they had like the fits, and then mash up Pembroke fit. That's where I found out about Ali Potts because Ali Potts saw my talent and I said, You don't say you're bad. Mm -hmm. And I said, Really? And then I saw Ali Potts on the TV. So, I said, Well, from him up on the TV, that means I'm bad. Mm -hmm. So, I, I think that Ali Patch was the one who gave me that push and then when I went out in the streets now where I meet Ikel Marvelous he was yeah. saying that Russian this is how you do it so I'm really an MC but I can mix it Ikel Marvelous good what the MC you know yeah. he's a good mic man you know yeah you know he's the intro god yes Banka was the one who said Russian listen to me no money what so I kill banker and then fire links now come and I give me a little advice. So that's where I say, listen, Russian, these are the pushing. Say. So, how did he meet fire links? Because you know, he's a pioneer, hot Mondays. It was at a party. Sometimes the selector really come at a party for play for themselves. Yeah. And when you're looking up, he is in his own world and he's not realizing yeah, that people are standing up on him. That's true. 
so That's watching true. the crowd is very very important not many people in the business know how to do that kudos to you for that one yeah man thanks you took your music to the streets in 2013 how did the people receive you at like you know the first little playoffs that you did have funnily enough I don't know if it's the glasses, <laughs> I don't know if I chew my lens tape, but they were saying, where that nerd there go? Yeah. Where that big nerd there go? But after the party, they say, yo, you, yo, what? So from that, you know, I'm going to have my glasses. So this trademark. So I use this to treat the crowd. You use that to treat yeah. the crowd? Through our, our conversation, you kept saying that people say, you, you're bad. I want you to go in at the booth now and show me <laughs> if you're really bad. <laughs> because, because, yes, yes sir, what? Man. <laughs> Pull up! <laughs> We travel all the way to West Milan for some delicious pan chicken. You know after the breakers pan the fire, right? So yo, pray this one will come back, huh? Ray and never feel we culture. Yo! New beginning, we winning, so share our spirit where you're living, yeah. Share it. I'm like we will have one bar, you don't know we come from far. From far, eh. Anytime we read we country, we are rum, it's a big come with we. No matter with the bad vibes, who are we rum, a celebration time. A few culture, we are rum. Make we sure, yeah. We are rum. Jamaican culture, we are never overproof, and we just have to do it to the culture.